Anggap tulong po sa ating lahat. Okay, magpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil uh, humihinga ako. At, uh, the owner of my breath is God. And physical breath. And the owner of this life, God uh, owned me twice. And because of redemption, God owned me twice. By virtue of the blood of Christ, He shed at Calvary. And I'm still amazed that King who is uh, worthy of uh, worship at uh, nandun sa heaven ng uh, time na uh, in the fullness of time he sent his only begotten son and I'm one of the benefit of it if there's a song says God of the mountain and God of the valleys I believe God of the Jews and the God of the Gentiles yes. and I'm one of that uh, uh, ble uh, blessed person uh, being a Gentile I was once a Gentile in the times past and thank God that uh, now in Christ and uh, I made I am made whole. I am complete and uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I am complete in Christ and glory to God for uh, what He has done for my soul. He is great and He is merciful. And when uh, coming here sa Baguio City, first time po namin ang aking family, my wife is there and uh, with my with our children. I first time namin mag uh, commute uh, mag bus then uh, from Fernando City Pampanga to yan lang sa Victory Liner then uh, first time tapos nagkaroon ng uh, something na mga memorable memorable na precious memory na uh, munti ka na na walang masuot <laughs> but there is a peace there is a joy there is still a, a, a God who, who will provide for me amen yan po ang thinking ko kahit mawalan man ng damit naked came I <laughs> Out of my mother's womb, <laughs> naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, the Lord will take it away. And I said, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pero hindi ako uh, ginawang inalaw niya na wala isuot. So pinalik yung bark kasi nakuha ka, ka, parehong color eh. Yung maleta namin, nagkabalik. So nung pinupin niya, Uy, bakit namin ang bata ito? Pambira, <laughs> nakuha ang same color. At pinalik niya doon, nagkita kami, tapos baptist pa lang. Ayun, gusto, wow. binigyan ko ng Castile Track Kaya yes. baka hindi natin alam O oh, saved Baptist or Baptist lang di ba? Kasi maraming Baptist pero hindi saved di ba? Kaya let's uh, always give tracks kahit Baptist ka ba Amen. I uh, handed a Castle Track With me always, ay, makonsensya ako eh, When I go out in my house Amen. or anywhere uh, Wala akong Castle Track Amen. May talagang konsensya ko, sayang naman yung araw ko Wala akong mabigyan, wala akong masyaran so, Amen. thank God na may nasa tayo. Uh, kahit ganong ganun, ganun situation, may maibigay na a uh, little uh, literature. Before I preach, para mawala ang uh, kaba, I'd like to call my two sons, no? si Jaire Amen. and Jiboy. Amen. And uh, they are a uh, blessing to me, Jaire. No? And uh, they, they want to offer a song for the Lord. And before that, they will memorize a verse. No? Pwede mo hirang ng mic, bro. Ayan. Kunin mo yung mic ko yan. Isaid mo yung verse. Daddy, where are you going? I like that one. As you say, by taking heat, there are two of what you two do with it. Our longing to be like the one 
they will be exclusive used by God. And uh, yun po ang akin, kung may kulang ng konting pihit sa boses, sa mga the way they sing, and I believe, matrain pa yun, mahilog pa. And God is so good na itong mga anak na to, pinapahiram ng Diyos sa akin. And I should be careful in uh, taking care of these souls because this is not mine. And so also me as a soul, I am not of my own. Somebody owns me. That's why I'm here. I just... Uh, uh, obey the owner of my life, the one who who said that you are mine, the one who said that I bought you with your blood, uh, with my blood, is the one who said go and preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, and all of us are a believer in Christ, and God charged us to do that in our time because our time is so dangerous, our time is so. Uh, uh, apostate time wherein the Christian are cold, Christian are not already hot in Christ. Uh, they are not uh yung reminder ng first preaching na talagang they are uh, kailangan ng ispew ng Panginoon. But uh, I'm I'm praying I'm praying Lord help me na hindi po ako isa doon na ma, ma spew out or something like sa aking sa aking buhay na hindi na magamit yun ang point practically doon hindi na magamit. Yeah, thank God na pwede pang mainit, mainit at pupunta tayo sa isang gathering na lalo pang iinit. Amen? Yeah. Kaya nandito tayo para iinit ang ating service sa Panginoon. And we have yeah. already uh, heard uh, so much about doctrine uh, or the position we have in Christ. Now we'll go to the to the things that we need to do as a believer in Christ. Amen? Yeah. And thank God for this book. This is our guideline and thank God na bigligan po tayo ng book and God will not leave us hanging because if you, a person or a teacher, will give uh, a, a students uh, a partial lesson plan, they will leave, or the teacher will leave the students in a partial hanging, or even a pilot, when he will uh, guide uh, the tourists inside the plane, he will always explain the time, that moment, na nandun na sa, sa ang stewardess, I believe they obey the command of the pilot and said, this is what you're going to do, this is the protocol. Then while in the, in the airplane, while in the in the travel, the ex, the explanation of the pilots, we are in the highest or something like that mountain or nandito ganito ganyan at dumaan tayo sa turbulence. He explained yan along the way, and so as God in this life, amen. He explained everything. Kaya hindi tayo magtaka, hindi tayo madiscourage, hindi tayo tapat malilito because God is not leaving leaving us hanging. Na wala tayong instruction, amen. amen. The Bible says. The Bible will prove to you that this is an instruction of God because the Bible says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and it's profitable. That's why we, it is profitable because this is given by inspiration. Buhay po ito. Kaya talagang buhay na buhay pumunta tayo dito because we have a book, we have a, what we call that, a title here in this uh, Baguio City that this church is a people with a book, with a book that they are holding it that is alive. And that is not just a joke, something like nagpunta lang tayo dito for a social club. No, we are going here because we want to hear this word. Amen? Yeah. We want to hear what the owner of our life is telling what, us what to do. No? Because sometimes sa ating buhay ay parang sa atin na, na wala na tayong direction. Kaya God put us in a proper place. God put us 
in a proper place. And what is that place? Of course, first of all, in, in, in Christ. In the salvation that we have, God put us in Christ. That is a proper place. Uh, in Christ. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, old things are become new. Amen? So tayo ay nalagay noon nung panahon na naniwala tayo dahil nakarinig tayo sa Ibanghelyo. And we are always there to work. No? Kaya yung unang preaching, mga patid, Paano ka maka-work kung hindi ka talaga alam ang mindset kung what spiritual is, what to be a spiritual person is. Kung mali ang iyong mindset doon. Kaya thank God for this gift of gift ng Panginoon na binigay at inexplain at binigay niya kung ano talaga ang proper mindset of a true revival. And uh, I I have that uh, note to that that what 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 to expect to a revived person, of course, is a giver. He is a cheerful giver. Yeah. And not only he will give a talent, not only he will give a treasure in his pocket, he will give his life. He will give his life. He will give his life. And he will give his life. What is life? It composed of time. Composed of time. While you're here, you spend part of your life here in Baguio, February, anong date ngayon? Well, no. once in your life, because the years of the, uh, of man is three score years and ten. That is three times, uh, score is twenty times three is sixteen. If by reason of strength, uh, uh, three score and ten means seventy. If by reason of strength, or uh, it will be four score years, Pastor Ben, eighty. Reason of strength. And it's not bad to have that idea na proper diet, proper exercise. It's not uh, it's not bad because God still use your body Amen. in His life. Amen? So limited life that we have. But thank God, I limited only one life so soon may pass, but only what stand for Christ will last. And thank God, na ang buhay natin, we spend here, na portion of our life ay nagpunta tayo sa Baguio. And thank God for the invitation para tayo ma-fired up. So have, we have a proper mindset of revival. We have a proper mindset of giving our time, our talent, our treasure. And also, Brother Josiah, we have a proper doctrine to Man. believe. We have a proper doctrine to believe. Yeah. Because in this life, I, I testified na ako po'y, ako po'y isa sa mga nabiyayaan ng doctrine na yan. Kasi ako'y na isa sa biktima ng wrong doctrine. Na akala ko let's save na ako because I hold on to something na akala akala ko si kasi they gave us they gave us false hope they gave me false hope kaya sabi ni Pastor uh, Alan Madis kaya God accepted me not me accepted God yeah, thank God na uh, yeah, simple statement that is a lot of doctrine na pag-usapan natin okay. thank God for that reminder of the preacher that we ought to stand on the right doctrine and standing it we need to stand it with the word of God just like the challenge of Pastor Alan Madis that why you can stand because you have the sword why you can stand because you have the spirit of God why you can stand because you have the shield of faith why you can stand because you have the shoes Shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Why you can stand? Because you have the belt of truth. Why you can stand? Because God armored you. Amen. Hindi niya talagang uh, impartial na armor. Kompleto na armor. And thank God we can stand. Quit ye like men. Praise the Lord. Kahit pa pink ang iyong uh, damit mga lalaki, hindi ibig sabihin yung preaching ni Magbari Magno. <laughs> You can still stand as pretty like man. Amen? It's not about the color. It's not about the dress. It's not about the hairstyle. It's not about your voice. Yeah? But it's about the word of God. Amen? It's about the spirit of God. It's about how you understand this book. How you love this book. How you apply this book. Amen? Thank God for that. The path of revival. And thank God that we are reminded here in the right, in the right place where we are. God called us to be a faithful ambassador. We need to work. We need to work. And that's that's a perfect, perfect connection in our topic this uh, day. Dahil ang proper place ng mga ambassador ay doon sa embassy. Sa embassy, sa local church. Amen? The embassy where we could go and support each other in the certain place na nilagay ng Panginoon. Amen? Let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts chapter 2. Let's uh, go to our introduction of the importance of the local church. Amen. You know, the importance 
of the local church. I was uh, reading in a history and one of the president of the Philippines, uh, I'm not proud because there's, it's not good to say I'm proud to say no. I'm not proud because uh, first I'm a Christian before I'm a Filipino. But this president, per, per, uh, Carlos P. Garcia, implemented an ordinance, a nationwide ordinance. Ang tawag niya kung itutuo ba ang sinabi ko sa Pastor Rino, katsaka ito, tangkilikin ang sariling atin. Tama ko ba? Yan. President Carlos P. Garcia. So, ang sabihin, the locality, we need to value it. We need to make a loyalty to it. Mga ba din? Amen? Because sometimes we are disorderly in our manner. We don't know where to put a right manner in, in the right place. We don't know to do a uh, widow. Sometimes, hindi natin ma malagay ang ating tamang gawin sa tamang lugar, sa tamang tao. Minsan, nakakamali tayo, mga ba din? Amen? And may God help us to be reminded here in Acts chapter 2, a local church in the history of the Christianity after the death of Christ, buried and rose again, and now Christ seated already, nandun na siya sa heaven and the Holy Spirit descend. And now, here we could see ang doktrina natin, mga patid, that the body of Christ and the local church are very different. Ang ating topic tonight at this day is about the local church. Kaya makita natin ito, mga patid, diretso na tayo kung ano itong mga setup nito na nag-gather sila because there is a big difference of a local church and the body of Christ. Let me give you some of it. Uh, some of the difference. First is the members in the local church are not all saved. That's why there's always a reminder in 2 Corinthians 13 verse 6 before I'll read on the Acts chapter 2 verses 41 to 47. Bigay ko muna yung introduction sa introduction. No, so, sabi dito that uh, members can uh, uh, can be saved or my lost na member, hindi pa saved. Kaya, the Bible uh, the Bible exhort the pastor to always remind the member, right. are you saved? Kaya, thank God, I'm blessed with that always gesture. That's a good gesture na nakuha ko pa rin. Are you saved? Ligtas ba kayo? Kasi, that is an examination of the member. Baka sila po ay nakaupo lang sa iba ko kasi papa ko Christian o papa ko member sa church. No, hindi yan makapag-save sa iyo. You will you will not go to church to be saved. Ha? Yeah? Hindi 'yon, mga kapatid. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. But in the side of the body of Christ, which is Christ is the head, all members are regenerated according to the Bible that all the members are regenerated and that the Spirit of God put that person once he believed the gospel in the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13. And uh, hindi na kailangang i-remind siya to examine kasi saved na at regenerated na sa body of Christ. And dito naman, found in a plural sense. Doon sa Galatians chapter 1 verse 2. At Galatians chapter 1 verse 2. Bago tayo mapunta dyan no, sa uh, Acts, Galatians chapter 1 verse 2. Sabi ng Bible, uh, I went by revelation. Oh, ay di yan. Uh, Galatians 1 verse 2. 2 verse 1 ang nabasa ko. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. That's one of the sample verse na makita natin na plural in form when you talk about locality. But when you talk about the body of Christ, which Christ is the head, never be plural in sense. No? Ephesians chapter uh, 4, verse 4. There is only one body, one spirit, one Lord, and one baptism, one faith, one God, and Father of all who is above all and in you all. So that is the body of Christ, the church, which is His body. Uh, Ephesians 5.30. Additional to that. And this church that we have, the local church, that's why we are held, uh, nag-held tayo ng mga anniversary, recurrent, conference, revival meeting, because most of the time, if not all, at sana hindi ang birian, ang apipol, ang um, uh, redeem, ang, uh, ang pain, or lahat ng mga churches na kilala natin, hindi mag-end ng apostasy. Kaya yung may, may nabigkas kanina na ang ating mga anak dapat pasahan natin, pass the truth to them. The generation, sabi ng awit ni Jairi, Daddy, saan ka punta? Punta ko sa Panginoon, suwi ka! Follow me, I follow Christ. Jere, huwag ka matulog ha. 
<laughs> so sabi ng Bible na end apostasy ang local church most of the time. Kaya most of the churches now end in some times rather than some time. <laughs> Nasa apostasy na yun. Kaya thank God that we have the Bible and we have a minister who stand for the truth and sana ma magkaroon pa tayo ng warning against apostasy. Patuloy natin. Hindi na natin mapigilan yan. Nandyan na yan. But all we have to do is to spare these children that we have. Sana Lord, hindi sila masali sa kahig ng apostasy. Kasi grabe ang rate current niya. Grabe ang turbulence niya. Brother Dundun. Ganun-ganun ba? Kaya pak! Pak! Ganun-ganun. Kung ikaw ay hindi sanay sa pag-simat, simio... Oh, hindi ka nag Oh, sa endure heartless. Kung hindi ka sanay doon, ano yan doon? Pagwagsak ba kay tayo ng anak ko pa ang mag-lead pa ng apostasy sa Birian si Jaire. Kaya God help me. Kaya yun po ang ating prayer mga kapatid. Amen. That these children, these young people, ay ipu ilagay natin ang truth sa kanilang heart that they will stand for the truth and they will preach the word and stand for the word because this local church will end apostasy. But the glory, but the body of Christ will end up to glory. Amen. Hindi po apostasy. End up to glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. At sana pa mo din. Ang sa local church ay uh, sinful in outside may or may not sinful on the inside. But the body of Christ without spot or blemish inside but outside is a battle. Huh? So the other side ng verse na yon is 1 Corinthians chapter 5 yung sinful in outside walk may or may not be sinful on the inside and dito the ruler of the local church the watchdog the watchdog man the watch the watchman the watchman over the local church is the pastor amen tama ka naman i have a i have a video nakita ko ang shepherd may watchdog at nung sinabi ng uh, shepherd punta ka ron Oh, hindi ko alam kung bakit ganun ba English Bisaya Tagalog. Basta ginanon lang signal ang aso naman obedient. Uh, pagpunta niya doon, out, out, out. Tapos ang mga sheep pupunta sa sa mismo fold nila. So, parang typology ng mga pastor na watchdog, you know? And the great shepherd is the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And praise the Lord that we have the pastor, we have the minister, we have the evangelist. They are feeding the flock, but in the body of Christ, Jesus is the head. Jesus is the supplier, the nourisher. Jesus is everything to the body of Christ. Colossians 1, 18. Ephesians 5, verse 23. And the last of that is membership in the local church can live anytime. Can live anytime. 1 Corinthians 5, 5. And but members in the body of Christ can never live. Wala ka nang balikan pag ikaw ay nalagay sa katawan ni Cristo. Mibro ka ng katawan ni Cristo. Hindi ka na maalis doon. Eternal security. Amen, amen. But sa local church, mga kapatid, may something na pwedeng alis. Bakit ka alis? Kasi, Pastor, mag-asawa na ako sa kabila, Pastor, at uh, doon na ako mag-serve. Oh. Maganda nga, noble cause, kasi nagpunta doon, mag-missionary, at mag nagkaroon ng ganito. Pero pag alis dahil sa pasaway na manner, tinerminate na lang kasi sakit talaga sa ulo. Ang mahirap yun. Hindi maganda na pag sa membership. Hindi maganda, mga kapatid. And you know, in the local church is an organization, but in the body of Christ is organism. Kaya thank God for Pastor uh, Chenga. He has been a blessing to me. I, has he organized people? He helped people to, to uh, you know, uh, he being a leader, uh, dapat nandun siya. A good leader is a good follower. He, he also uh, needs to demonstrate what to do. He always demonstrate what to think. He always demonstrate what to desire. He always demonstrate what to pursue. He always demonstrate what to perform. He always demonstrate what to give, what to... So, kuha mong kanina na hindi lang ako ang may need. Ah, kayo ang may need. Ako din, di ba? Si Lustre. Bakit ako hindi pwede mga absent? Ang sal ko doon, ikaw kasi leader pa, sir. <laughs> so, ang point ko doon, he, you need to... But there will be someone kahit wala si faithful power pa, sir. Just go, just go. Because there will be always someone na nagsabi ng bata kanina, Daddy, where are you going? Sabi ni Glenn, I will go and serve the Lord. Come and follow me. Amen. And we will never turn back. Yon po, mga dad. Just like the pilgrim. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back, mga dad. And thank God for the deliverance. Whenever there is an obedient child following the Lord, kung wala na siyang turning back, He will not fail you, helping you. No? At yung revival nandoon patuloy, maraming tao na maapuyan 
Maraming tao mapasok sa mga apoy na nasa iyo mga budet at magkaroon sila ng contagious spirit. Ah, ah, na, na, nagkaroon ka ng contagious spirit, matakdan sila, mahawa sila. And thank God for the Apostle Paul. Siya din yung isa sa mga pattern uh, unto good works. And let's go to Acts chapter 2. Introduction lang yun sa isa sa introduction. Mga budet. <laughs> Kinakabahan ako. <laughs> Pastor, sabi ng Bible dito sa Acts chapter 2, verse 40, uh, verse number 41, let's read. Kung gusto nyong magbasa, you can read this with me. Ready? Basa. The day that gladly received His word were baptized, and the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in breaking of bread and in prayers, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they continuing daily with the one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Verse 47, Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Manalangin po na tayo. Panginoon, salamat na binigyan niyo po kami ng salita niyo. Without your word, we cannot um, have that Regeneration, because the agent of regeneration is your word and incorruptible word. And thank you for the spirit also, Lord, na kami po nung panahon ay nakinig sa gospel, ay kinumbig kami. And thank you, Lord, na that the moment that we heard and believed the gospel, we are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And now, you have put us into the proper place wherein we could serve you, and that is the local church. May you help me, Lord, as I continue preaching and teaching your word. And may you help these souls, the believers who are hearing now. Sana magamit po ito para ma-revive sila, patuloy silang ma-edify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yay! So in the body of Christ, mga batid, you could see uh, na merong Panginoon na nag-supply sa pangailangan natin. At ang isa sa mga pangailangan natin ay local church wherein we can exercise our service. No? no, we could exercise. Many people right now don't believe in a local church. Para lang siya lang hindi naniwala ng pamilya rin. Because local church is composed of family. Composed of husband and wife. Composed of father, mother, children. At makita niyo po, para ka na lang din na hindi naniwala na isang pamilya na autonomous. Uh, autonomous. At the basic unit of society is the family. And the local church is composed of family. At makita niyo mo ba din, ang bawat family na nandito, they serve the Lord by by demonstrating the six human relationship. Huh? Husband, love your wives. Wives, submit unto your own husband. Wow. Sarap na pag ma-apply na, no? praise the Lord. And fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And children, obey your parents in the Lord. Yan pala, nauna. Children, obey your parents. Then, Master, provoke, uh, ano ngayon? Uh, threaten not, forbid, uh, oh, threaten not, huwag kang mag-threaten. Kung hindi ka magtrabaho, wala kang sahod. Sabi ng mga ganon. Don't threaten, no? And uh, oh, the must, uh, the servant naman, kung sino man ang pinaka-faithful na papunta sa trabaho at hindi nalilate, Kristiyano dapat. Siya yung mag-demonstrate sa klase. No? Siya yung mag-demonstrate sa workplace na this is Christianity. This is, this is all about not the work. This is all about the master in heaven. Christ. And pag sabi na, I like that. I like that man. I like that. Sabi ng boss. Sino nga siya? Jewel. Pakunta nga dito. Anong background mo? Ay, hindi, hindi. Nagpala ka ba yung state na ako. Anong background mo? Dapat mag-share ko ako po si Benito Ganyan. Tagadyan po ako. Uh, then, pwede na ka mag-preach ng gospel kasi may access na agad eh. Ba mo? So, ang demonstration mo as a servant in that world of workplace, kahit boss mo ay believer, hindi na alam ni si Cristo, you could show Christ in them. And thank God for that. You could demonstrate it in that six human relationship sa body of Christ at makita niyo po sa locality ng church dyan, dito sa binasa natin, wherein God provided us not only a local church we could gather, God provided us His Word. In the local church, there is a provision. 
They that gladly receive His Word. They that gladly receive His Word. That's yun ang dapat na revival. Ang ibigay sa Misaidor ay salita ng Diyos, hindi salita ng tao. Marami mga pastor pumunta sa isang mission conference at taktak ng taktak sa buhay nila. Sa mga mission, uh, kuha nila mga missionary nila, dami na akong missionary na sintaw, dami ng pera sa offering. No, tell about Christ, don't tell about yourself. Tell about the Word of God, don't tell about anything you accomplish. Tell about how God accomplish. Tell about how great He is. Tell about how God is so wise giving you a family, putting you in a proper place para ikaw ay mag-grow physically, wise, and spiritually. And thank God there is a God in heaven who is so wise and invisible. And now to the King Eternal, He provided us a word. In the local church, there is a place of provision. Now in verse number 42, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the fellowship, in breaking of bread, and in prayers. You know, there was there was a time that we heard somebody in a church they have a prayer vigil. We had that before in uh, in Christ Baptist Church and na karon kami para wala makatulog talagang magpreach ang mamen. Why not pwedeng ibalik na din yun, di ba? At pabalitaan na natin si Pastor Chinga. Anong ginagawa ng pastor? Nag prayer vigil sa church. Yan yung isa sa challenge ko sa birian. Pastor, narinig ko din yan nag prayer vigil kayo. Sana ba ibalik natin ng churches of life with mag-prayer vigil? Bawat local churches, ba't mag-prayer vigil tayo? Kasi there will be a big, big gathering coming and many people will come and they will hear something from the Word of God that they will be redirected from the world to the Lord. They will be redirected from the money to the real priority. They will be redirected from the wrong mindset to the right mindset. We need to kneel down because, you know, somebody is... Uh, in, 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 in the illustration, marami na, sobrang ganda ng choir, sobrang ganda ng voices, na wala talagang malingkuan, sobrang ganda na hindi na marinig, at wala ng time na mag-pray. Pagandahan na lang. We need prayers, amen? We need prayers because that's the only thing that we could access God. Lord, we will humble down and bow down. Practically, yung, if, if we will need a healing, a spiritual, yung kanil revival, there's a humbleness. And hearing God's word and Lord humble, we humble before you and please help us. We need prayers, Mabuden. Amen? We need prayers. When, when was the last time you cried in your prayer? Umiyak ka lang dahil wala ka pa ba yung utang. Umiyak ka lang kasi nawala yung rilo mo, silpun mo, ang ganda, apul pa naman. O, umiyak ka dahil ano pa? Naiwan ka si Roplano. Buti na lang, nakabalik, hindi naiwan. Marami naiwan si Roplano, umiyak. Ang daming reason why you cry. But sana ang cry natin, nagtulot tayo, Lord, nagkulang ako sa iyo, Panginoon, sa aking anak na si, yan, ng dalawang lalaki. Lord. So you cry because there is incapable or there is infirmity in you. Na hindi mo kayang gampanan. But God, the Spirit, will help you in every infirmities. The things that you will utter, hindi mo alam, but God will help you. This is it, my son. This is it. Ito yung dapat i-utter mo. And God will help you to that, my brother. There is a place where you could go. A local church. There is a place of provision. A place of prayers. Amen? A place of prayers. And thank God. Thank God. Have you tried na, na kayo po ay uh, isang church na nag-pray na sa food. Pagkatapos ng pagka may kuhan, pagka halimbawa individually, kumuha na pagkain, nag-pray ka ulit. <laughs> nag-pray na kayo ganyan. Nag-pray na nga sa food. Pagkuha mo sa food doon sa buffet area, tapos pagko ko sa buho, nag-pray ka ulit. Sige lang, pray without ceasing. Amen? And sabi nga na isang uh, mindset, the right mindset prayer, it's not, uh, it's not about closing your eyes, it's not about bowing your knees, it's not about, no, the proper mindset of prayer is God of heaven sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for us to have an access to Him. We will only, only believe on that Son of Jesus Christ and we, the Spirit of God sealed us and we have all the time in prayer access. Kahit nakatilat ka pa, kahit nakahiga ka pa, because we have all the access. Sabi na Ephesians chapter 2, look at, that's the proper way of uh, having that access. Ephesians chapter 2 about prayers. Ephesians chapter 2, where is the Trinity there in our prayers? That in that perfect verse right there, verse 18, the Trinity is present in that verse 18 in our prayer. For through Him, 
For through Him, who is that Him? Who is that Him? Christ. Because He was preached there in verse 17. To those who are afar off, we are Gentiles. Our title is those who are afar off. Mga malayo tayo. But Christ came and died at the cross and slain that enmity. Then we have that access through Christ. We both have access by one Spirit. Where? We should direct our prayer unto the Father. So the Trinity is not only in 1 John 5, 7, my dear Christian. Right there in Ephesians 2, verse 18. Trinity is present, my beloved. Praise the Lord that not only the local church is the place of provision, the Word of God. The, the local church is not only the place of prayers. We could pray one another, intercede for one another. There was one time in history of Christianity when, when uh, Apostle Peter was in prison because not because he did wrong. You know, sometimes we are light. Sana mabatid kung may mga problema man tayo, maka, marami tayong mga hinaharap, mga trouble. Sana ang trouble ay hindi sa ating mga sarili mga ginagawa ng mga pasaway. Sana yung mga noble na mga trouble. Na, na, na kuan ka dahil ang Panginoon ang kasama doon. Hindi yung dahil ng utang ka, wala kang pambayad, ay pinamili mo ng cellphone, lahat ng mga luho mo, at uh, maraming nang nangyari sa iyo. So that's not a good trouble. But this man, Peter, has a right trouble when the church was praying. Have you seen there in Acts chapter 5? When the, when the people in the church praying for him? Can you find that, please? Kalimutan ko. Sana yun. And the church is praying for him. Oh, the church is praying for him. Acts chapter 2. Oh, Acts chapter 2. Uh, uh, Paano pala? Uh, 12. Not chapter 2. Acts chapter 12. Ang layo pa yun. 2 tapos 5. 12 pala. Verse 5. Acts chapter 12 verse 5. That's the, the demonstration that a, a local church is so prayerful enough. For Amen. somebody to be helped. Amen? Why? Hindi lang dapat sana mag-pray kayo sa pastor nyo. Mag-pray natin yung ating mga ministers of God. This gift of God. Missionary Anton. Wanted yan. Evangelist. Wanted number two. Pastor Benz. Kung lang, ago lang, pastor. Ago lang tayo. Ano man? Igugnito. Alam nyo yun, igugnito. No? Hindi. Pero kayo mga nasa front line, God help you. Amen? God help you, Lord. And our churches would kneel down. Tingnan, look at mo, verse number 5. A local churches will kneel down. Verse number 5. Ano sabi na Bible? Peter was kept in prison. Peter was kept in prison. Why? You know, prison is a picture of trouble. You're in prison of your something that you, you are doing. But this man is in trouble, but a noble trouble. Amen. Tama at magandang tularan, mga mate. Ang dami mga mga tao yan, pinugutan ng ulo sa Afghanistan. Maraming mga misyonari na grabe ang mga buhay nila. Wala na silang mga kumpleto, mga damit. Wala silang mga barong-barong na ganito. But they serve the Lord. Tayong nasa Pilipinas, ang grabe natin. Amen? Tayong dito natin sa naranasan natin. But praise the Lord, though we are in trouble, though this minister in trouble, though are we are in trouble, there is a place where we could, someone will pray for us. And that's the local church. Sabi ng Bible, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for Him. Wow, amen. Redeem. Are you praying for your pastor? Amen. Sana po. And may God help the churches who are listening now. Pray for the minister. Pray, Lord. Sana extend mo pa, Panginoon. Pastor Ben, but this Rudy, kahit pa mag-vanishing yan, pero ang years continue pa Pero may dinig na vanishing hair, vanishing no? Kahit pa yan, pwedeng uh, hindi yan, it's not about the hair, but it's about the heart. Amen? It's about the heart that to continue to serve the Lord. Amen? It's not, it's not about the face. No? It's not about the face. But it's about the focus. Amen? It's about the focus. We need to focus. The priority is God. Amen? The priority is this book. Dapat hindi tayo mawala doon. Amen? And there's a place of provision, there's a place of prayers, and there is a place of partaking. In verse 44 in Acts 2, the Bible says in Acts 2, And all that believe were together and had all things in common. What a blessing, O Madet. What a blessing. Hindi na kusang loob na, Pastor. Uh, itong sasagyan ko, Pastor. Sinong bisitang susunduin natin? 
ay, was broke. Hindi talaga mga church yun kasi sobrang dami nila isang barangay. Tapos talagang ganito ganyan. Kaya thank God. And there was a one time when we had our prayers that these ministers of God can be uh, useful by the Lord. Of course, nagkamit talaga sila. And there was a soul in Santa Ana sa mga soul doon. Kulang ang sasakyan, Pastor. Pastor. Kailangan natin ng may mga tao na mapagamit pa para i-reach out at makasakay sila at pupunta sa isang place where they could hear the word of God. Kaya kung meron kasi sasakyan kayo, pagamit niyan, Panginoon. Amen? Kung meron kayong kakayanan kumanta, ipagamit niyan. Pakatanggalin niyo yung boses niyo. Amen? Ipagamit niyan. Amen? Kung meron kayong daliri, kahit ko lang, ipagamit niyan. Just open the book and preach the word. Amen? Ipagamit yung buhay natin. Huwag magambala sa mga trabaho. Ipagamit ang buhay natin ba din. And praise the Lord, I bless you this man. And glory to God, there's a partaking all had in things in common. That's uh, during first century Christian. Pero dito sa panahon na ito, mga because their mindset is Christ is coming. The, mili- the millennium mindset nila kasi Jewish local church ito eh. Jewish local church is set up. So ang mindset nila, bakit pa natin ito ikikip? Eh wala na parating na si Kristo. You know, when there is a consciousness that Christ is coming, all will be immaterial. Yung bahay natin made of wood. Ang ganda pa, no? Kinis natin. Ganda pa ng piano. Ang ganda ng ating mga hardin. Ang ganda ng ating mga, ano pa? Missionary, hardin ng halaman doon. <laughs> Ang ganda ng daming maganda doon sa bahay. Pero it will be all material. Hindi yan madadala. Yes. Naked came I in my mother's womb. Naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave. The Lord had taken away. So ipagamit yan sa Panginoon, mga batid. Amen? Amen? Ipagamit because there will be a partaking in the local church. Somebody who is in, in necessity, that you are in full, then isupply niyo po ang pangailangan ng iba. At yung isa naman, ang kanyang rich naman, oras. Wala naman akong ganito, pero ang oras ko ay sobrang yaman. Just call me and I'll be there. Yes. Oh, yes, diba? Sobrang yaman ang oras. No? At sana yung oras na yan, hindi ginawa na parang walang kabu- uh, kabuluhan. Dapat yung oras na mayaman ginawa para sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. So, there will be a place of partaking the local church, the place of profitableness. In verse number 46, the Bible says, And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. You know, when there is a gathering, there is a family who is eating together, there will always be a profitable talk. Wow. Diba? Ayaw kong mag-asawa, mag uh, When was the last time na mag-asawa is sweet na kumakain? Pagka wedding, subo ang aspa, ay kawan, subo din ang babae. Pero pagka ano, wala nang subuan. Kahinilamuta na. No? Kain ka lang dyan, bahala ka. Ang <laughs> sinasawa ko na wala. <laughs> no? So, mga patid, patuloy ang sweetness. Thank God for that uh, emphasis, that gesture na hindi ako mabubuhay kung wala ang asawa ko. Thank God na revive talaga. There is that revival. There is that profitableness because you are together. There is always a profitableness if you are in one accord, and in one mind, in one heart. Amen. There is a profitableness, mo that if you have that one mindedness from house to house. What a blessing, mo that. One mind, a house. One mind in dito. Then after all, they will go to church praising God. Amen. They will bring us all and. Come and worship with us. We are the most happier person here in Baguio. Amen. And when they say, "Punta ka sa amin na mga santo don, kumakanta." Wow. The prayer. What? Hindi lang ati kasi napi, hindi na sinapi. Pag sinay pa kuli, sabi mo kumakanta wala naman santo don. Yung pastor namin santo yun. Ako santo hindi mo lang. Tayo ang lahat na niwala kay Kristo, Saint in Christ. Amen? Amen. There is a place of profitableness in the local church. If we are one-mindedness, we are one in one accord in the temple here in this place. God is so good. There is a prophet. Amen? Because there is the purpose in verse number uh, 46. No? The purpose is a singleness of heart. Magita natin doon, in singleness of heart, there's a purpose na sila po ay one mind glorifying God in verse number 47. The last B is praise. The last B is praise. So there is a, a place where you could praise the Lord 
Uh, sana mabred ang mga churches ngayon, ang ating local churches. Lord, spare us na hindi ito masali itong church natin, itong church sa Baguio, na kung saan kami nakakuha na ang place palagi ay nagpipraise sa Panginoon, nagpipraise sa Panginoon, hindi nagpipraise sa tao. Amen. Hindi nagpipraise sa tao, ito yung pastor namin. No, kaya mga religion right now, they are praising their founder. When in someone, someone go to a place, at sabi niya, nagpunta siya kay Cleo ba? Diyos si Cleo. Habang nakikinig siya sa pangalangin, siya ay Diyos. O, at yun ang pinipraise nila. Pagdating naman doon sa kay Jopi, sinare ni Jopi sa akin, pag mag-pray daw, ma-mention talaga si yung founder. Yung founder talaga. At ma-praise talaga ang tao. Wala nang Bible. Wala na si Kristo. Nangangatok, wala din. Kaya, mga patid, let's help the churches. Amen? Let's help and pray and kneel God. Lord, help us that this place will be a place of praising God and having favor with all men. And the Lord added to the church daily such as that should be saved. Okay. Introduction po yan, Oded, and thank God na binigyan tayo ng place. And let's go to the proper lesson, Oded, of our local church. Amen. Para ayaw nyo na atay. Baka mabatulad sa kalawan, ha? Pinutos na lang. Basta, try to meet us lang. Hindi po hindi. In everything, there is a time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And let's go to the proper message today about the local church. There is a gift to that. There is the gift to that church. And who is that gift? The overseer. The gift of the body of Christ. The gift to the local church is the body of Christ. The Bible says, I will give you Pastor, according to my heart. Jeremiah, look at Jeremiah chapter 17. Hindi lang tayo na, oh, rightly divided, huwag na basahin natin yan. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction. Amen? So we could be instructed by this. Anong verse yan po? Nandyan, Jeremiah 17 and chapter 9. I will give you pastors according to my heart. Nakalimutan ko na, basta yun ang talk. Ayan, nandiyan na. The heart is deceitful above all things, pero hindi yan yung I will give you pastors according to my heart. Jeremiah chapter 7, ata? Oh? Oh, so yun po ang point. Ang ibig sabihin, who is the one who gave that gift? It is God in Ephesians chapter 4, verse number uh, 7 to 11 Ephesians chapter 4 Sino pong nagbigay ng gift na yan Para sa local church? Ang Panginoon Hindi po tayo Kaya there is a mindset Na kung hindi tayo Hindi yan sa atin At binigay niya sa atin Like halimbawa Bro, may cellphone ka ba bro? Pwede pa hirap Tapos sabihin mo sa akin Pastor Pwede kong iiwan ba sa'yo to? Bakit saan ka punta? Basta Iiwan ko sa'yo Pag iiwan ko Anong mangyari sa akin? Anong tawag sa akin? Steward. Kasi iniwan sa akin eh. Steward. Eh kung mawala ko ito ang mangyari, pabayaran ko sa'yo. Kung masira ko ito, ipa-refer ko. Kasi iniwan mo sa akin at nag-agree ako at tinanggap ko. Mga patid, whether you like it or not, God gave you pastor. Amen? There is a gift of the, for the local church and yung pastor na binigay niya sa galing sa Panginoon, hindi yan sa inyo. Ipinapahiram at pinagamit steward kayo. And there will be a Accounting day. And in the judgment of Christ, tatanungin kayo, anong ginawa mo sa minister? Because that's the body of Christ's gift. And that's the church also, the local church gift. Mga patid, simultaneously kasi, nirigalo, sabi na, but unto everyone of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. At sabi ng verse number 11, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. What is the reason bakit siya binigay para sa local church? For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. And for the edifying of the body of Christ. Hindi pumunta ang pastor para magiging pogi, magiging mayaman, magiging ano pa, magiging looking good at siya na ang paglikuran. At siya na pastor, pastor. Huwag kang paupo pastor, lagyan punas pa natin. At para ng lahat ng membro ay servant at May bodyguard pa siya. Kung hindi, mga patid. Ang local church is a place wherein they can serve together. Even 
ang pastor mismo together with the flock mag-serve sila because ang ang gift ng pastor is to supply what the flock is uh, lacking and ang ang mga ang mga fold naman ang mga members of the local church will supply kung anong pangangailangan ni pastor it's not good to support the pastor amen I mean, it's not bad na patuloy ka rin. It's not bad. It's not bad. De, pwede tagdagay yun. Don't support your pastor if he's not following God. If he's not following Christ. Pwede ituloy pa rin yun. Parang lusod. If he is not following Christ, don't follow him. He is a dangerous man. But if he is following Christ, you are saved. Yes. You are saved. Amen. Amen. Because that's the gift of God. Give me guys para sa local church. And thank God. And to take care of the church. In 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5. Yan po sa local church. May taga Peter. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse number 5. The Bible says, If a man know not to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Ganun na lang kabigat ang qualification. You ought to have, uh, it takes courage, it takes an example, it takes a demonstration, it takes a leader of the house that will take care of the home. And then after that, hindi lang siya nag-take care sa home niya, pwede pa siyang magamit sa ibang household. Kaya thank God na si Sister Doreen pinapahiram niya ang kanyang husband sa ibang Over, mag-overse niya ang mga family. Sabi niya, ah, gabi, may time ka sa family mo na iba, ako wala kang time sa akin. O, di ba? First priority of the pastor is the family. Amen. Kaya hindi pwede pabayaan. Pwede dagdagan. <laughs> na, 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 anak. Wala ko sabi, na, anak. Amen. Thank God, na may regalo ulit si Pastor Chenga. Congrats. Pwede dagdagan ulit. Amen. God help you. <laughs> Praise the Lord, man, you know, in marriage. Though in, you know, things that are uh, pagalang-ganon, but still enjoying. Amen? Still enjoying. Hindi po, paan, baka mga yang man, mahirap pala. Oh, enjoyable. Amen? Enjoyable because you are praising God together with someone. Kaganda niyo, bro, Brother JP, ha? You are praising God together with your wife. Wow, what a blessing. Uh, so don't look the glory, look the process, brother. Uh, don't look, oh, ganda pala doon. No, look at the road. Ma-prepare ang sarili ko, financially, yes. spiritually, lahat na morally. Amen. Uh, prepare everything before you go to the place to that uh, glory. But one day, ang pastor na yan, dumaan sa pagka-child, hanggang naging youth, hanggang naging husband, hanggang naging father, then he ruled the children, then after that, that promotion is not from him. Hindi niya sinadya na naging papa siya, hindi niya sinadya na naging husband siya, God naturally promoted that man. God naturally promoted. You, the, the promotion is neither from the east and from the west. Neither from the south, son. From the north. So, nung nagaroon nag ng family, yun na yun, nagiging leader na. At nagiging regalo dun sa mga families. At nilagay siya sa isang place. And what a noble. Na this generation, kulang tayo ng mga preachers, pastors. No, they only, sabi nila, ang ganda maging engineer. Ang ganda maging ganito. But there is only one verse that will give you a good recommendation straight from the Word of God. A bishop then must... Uh, if a man desire the bishop, office of the bishop, he desireth a good work. Amen. Yun lang ang isa sa recommendation. Mga course, mga course sa buwan, sa vocation. Ha? May course. But this is the longing sa ating mga anak. Sana ang kanya nasa doon sa na ganitong uh, pinaka-top na guan. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka pastor, hindi ka magamit sa Panginoon, na you are not doing also the good work. You are also the do, doing a good work just like this deacon right there. Look at, look at the deacon. In verse number, same chapter, verse number 13. For they that have used the office of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good degree. It's just like that. Parang si, simultaneously, parang may synonymously in a, in a neighborhood of the word good work no? a good degree kasi nandoon na siya sa level up after na si pastor ay wala na this deacon will step up because it needs a man to step up 
It needs Joshua after Moses. It needs someone who will go. After Paul, there is a Timothy. After Paul, there is Titus. Huh? After a father, there is a son. After a pastor, there is someone who will step up. Okay. And praise the Lord. May regalo. Ginugroom din ng Panginoon. Ang iba dyan na magiging regalo ulit. And somebody, ang wrong mindset ng local church parang kingdom. Na ako ang hari dito. Pag ako'y mawala, ang anak ko ang papalit. Kahit immorally not qualified. Kahit uh, morally not qualified, yung buhay niya hindi example. Kahit empire ang church nila. Empire. Siya ang hari. Theocracy kasi. Kaya mga kapatid, let's go and preach the truth para may matauhan ng mga tao. Amen? Amen. Lalo na yung ibang mga pastors na hindi pala idea. Ano ha? Ito pala yung government ng local church. Hindi theocracy. Bagos spiritual republic. Okay. Represented by a spiritual head of the home. And praise the Lord. One of that representative is the, uh, the pastor. One of that representative is the bishop. One of that representative is the elder. To feed the flock and to be an example of the flock. 1 Peter 5.3 To preach and warn and teach. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 and 24. We don't have time. And uh, yun po ang Thank God for the pastors. Thank God for the gift of the body of Christ and of also to the local church. Kasi sila regalo mga patid. And this is the three purposes of our local churches. First, in 1 Corinthians 10, 31. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31. Okay, minding the time. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31. Ito yung purposes ng local church. Bakit may local church tayo mga patid? And praise the Lord, sabi ng Bible, whether we eat or ye eat or drink or whatsoever you do. Anong, bi- anong sabi ng Bible? Do all for the glory of God. Why we gather? Why we have go and why, why we will not forsake the assembling of ourselves together? Hindi tayo mag-praise ng tao dito. We will glorify the Lord. Do you understand why you say glory to God? Do you understand what is the glory of God? The totality of who He is. When you say, to God be the glory, it means you declare that He is good. You declare that He is righteous. You declare that He is just. You declare that He is faithful. He is wise. He is loving. He is, he is uh, immutable. He is, he is everything you need. When you say, glory to God. Because you speak of glory, it speaks of light. It speaks of everything na makita mo ng glorious you know that, thank God na merong place wherein we could be, uh, what will that, in that umbrella, oh, in a place, kung magpasilong tayo, na kung saan nandun yung preaching, a reminder na don't give glory to man, give glory to God. Amen? Amen. Give glory to God. Whether kung i- mag-eat ka man, ikaw magpiano, hindi ka magpasika. Ikaw ay kakanta, hindi ka magpasika. Ikaw ay magbigay, hindi ka magpasikat at malaki ang binigay mo. Wala dapat na tao na magmayabang. Amen? Amen? Dapat ang dapat gagawin, God forbid that I should glory. Save in the cross of Christ. Amen. Yun po ang amen. Save in the cross of Christ. Exalt Jesus Christ. Yun po ang first priority natin. Colossians 3 verse 23. Colossians 3 verse 23. Okay, Colossians chapter 3 verse number 23. The Bible says, For whatsoever you do, do it, Heartily. Do it heartily. It needs heart, mga madel. Because the problem of every person is the problem of the heart. Or the heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. Kaya out of the issues of your heart, there came for a testimony. Kaya careful handling your heart. Careful handling your emotion, your your uh, uh, tawag doon, yung pursuit in life, yung heart mo, kahit ano-ano na lang mga, mga iniisip yan. Kaya David prayed, Lord, unite my heart. Kasi sa ating heart natin, nagdi-divide palagi. Yun yung preaching na revival. Instead na ikaw ay maging alive sa Panginoon palagi, you are carnally minded. Pagkita mo nun, ala, daming labahin sa bahay, sabi ng asawa, yung mister ko, basa pa sa Bible, hindi man tumutulong sa akin. O mga ganun. O di ba? Pasa-pasa dyan. O ano pa? Maraming mga practicality sa bahay. Madami. Ma- minsan, marami na tayo niisip at hindi natin tama ang masasabi natin. No? Sa pamamahay, 
sa sa workplace, sa habang naglalakad, habang nagka, nag nagda-drive, makarna na tayo pag may mga something na mag uh, interrupt sa atin. Oh, may problem na mag-interrupt. Don't panic. Everything is in the Lord's control. Amen. Don't panic and let uh, my words mo, kahit ano lang mga sinasabi. Uh, I'm speaking by experience more than na if I will be panic sometimes ang aking bibig hindi mapigilan na makapagsalita na hindi tama. Kaya look, may God help us kung nasa local church tayo, ang ating pagpunta natin dito is exalt the Savior. Exalt the Savior. Kaya kung magtatanong ang pastor, sinong gusto mag-exalt sa Panginoon dito? Pagpunta dito, iba na ang mga topic. Instead na ay ay opportunity pagpunta exalt the savior marami pang story sa buhay magkita ka ano ganun kung talagang i-proper mindset sa mga testimony lalo na sa camp meeting alala ko talaga crap <laughs> tagal na matapos ah. sana kaya ito pupunta <laughs> di ba direct to the point exalt the savior it's all about your life it's not all about your past but it's all about the time that we spend together we have a limited time. Right there you stand, exalt Jesus again. Wala nang ibang i-mention pa. Though you have an opportunity, sabihin ko ito para marinig ni ganito ni sis or ni brother. Wag na! Sabihin mo kung sino ang Panginoon. Amen? Exalt agad. May iba pa, iba pa. May, uy, munti ka na ako. Uy, mga nito ganun yan. Ang dami. Amen? Exalt the Savior. Amen? When you gather together, exalt the Savior, wala na wala nang pagsakali pa, wala nang intro-intro pa si Kristo na agad mabaden. It's not all about us, but it's all about Christ when you go to the local church. And uh, mabaden, number 2, edify the saints. Edify the saints, di ba? Sabi nga nila, ang joy, Jesus, then others. Ang last ikaw na. Eh uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 12, sabi ng Bible, Ephesians chapter 4 Verse number 12, yun po ang reason why God gave this gift for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Mga patid, ang mga patid, ang pag-edify sa saints, it takes charity to edify. It takes a demonstration of charity to edify sa local church. Ang purpose ng local church is an embassy wherein the ambassadors are performing their job and telling the world about the person who installed them to be. Oh, na, nagiging title nila ambassador tayo. Kaya may sasabihin tayo. Anong sasabihin natin? Yung place kung tagaasaan tayo. Hindi tayo taga dito. This world is not our own. Kaya pagpunta natin sa local church, mga dad, ang demonstration natin sa co-ambassador natin is charity. It's charity, mga dad. Tingnan niyo po. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, in verse number... One, though I speak with the thanks of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a thinking symbol. Aga pagpunta mo sa local church, kung wala kang charity, tinkling symbol ang tayo. At though we have all the gift, marunong tayo sa lahat ng skill and talent, and all the things na pwedeng ilatag natin ng mga mystery, Mystery of the body of Christ, mystery of the rapture, mystery of the ganito, mystery of the ganyan. Nalapag na natin lahat, but sabi ng Bible, though we understand all those things, and I have, we have all knowledge, and though I have all the faith, so I, that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Hindi yan maka-edify of them, wala yung charity. And though I bestow my goods to feed the poor. Kahit pa ikaw pang nagpakain ngayon dito sa first anniversary ni Redeem, sa iyo ang lahat, ang pinakamalaking percentage, but kung wala yung charity, when in the church, hindi yan acceptable, hindi yan edifying. Okay. Hindi na edifying, you bestow all everything that you have and give it to the needy, to the poor, and to be burned. Kung wala kang charity, it will not profit, profit you nothing. One day in the, in the judgment of Seat of Christ, masusunog yan, mga patid. Let's have the charity demonstrated that suffereth long, kind, charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. Amen. Isipin ang iba, ano kayang kinakain ni Mother Mary? Siya lang mag-keep the dogs from the time. Ano kaya, sino kayang kasama niya ngayon? Ibabae pa naman siya. 
check check your brethren from time to time of death. Be keeper's brother. Don't be like Cain. Na sinabi ni ng Panginoon sa kanya, Cain, saan yung kapatid mo? Bakit ako ba'y takabantay sa kapatid ko? Hindi. Sabi ni Cain, huwag kayong gagaya kay Cain. Amen? Gagaya tayo kay Cristo. He laid down His life for us. To be secured, to be kept secured, and to be saved. And God, the Lord Jesus Christ, provided us in sample to the flock, the pastors, the minister, and all the brethren sana in sample of them. At sana magiging charitable tayo in our manner. Charitable tayo in our dress. Mga, mga kapatid, be charitable in your dress. Don't behave in, uh, unseemly sa inyong pastor dito sa local church na ang inisip nyo, sarili nyo lang. Nika dito. Pula dito, pulang lips. Tapos, sabi, pula na pag preach si pastor. Uy, pula. <laughs> Uy, pula na. Pero malak, di ba? Huwag kayo talagang extravagant na mga mukha, di ba? <laughs> Kasi, mga patid, <laughs> makitaan mo sa isang pastor, mahirap pastor, di ba? Makitaan mo, kami, ang suot ay... Hindi na lang siya titingin dito. Tabay! All set! <laughs> Para ang audience nandito lahat eh. Wala doon. Kasi may nakitaan siyang something na matent siya. Oh. Kaya, help, help your pastor. Help someone. Help your men. Help the head of the home. Help. Dress properly, woman. Modest apparel is not all about the dress. It's all about holiness. It's all about God who owns your body. It's all about Him. It's all about the blood that was shed at Calvary. And be charitable sa mga ibang brethren na makasala, hindi sila makasala nawa. At i-behave natin ang ating sarili. I-off natin ang cellphone. Sorry to have that kanina. Hindi ko na-off at na-disturbo ata yung preacher. No? Pag uh, talagang pag-preach ng pastor, ito, 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 Dapat, ako, ako, isa sa ako nyo, natamahan kanina na disturbo tayo minsan, di ba? O then, i-remind natin ang mga members sa local church na please turn off your cell phone. You are not a soldier, you are not a doctor, you are not a pilot, di ba? You are not a on-call. Di ba? Yung mga on-call lang, mag-vibrate lang. Kaya, unseemly, hindi charitable. That's just a practical, mga kapatid. Pero minsan nakaligtaan natin, di ba? Right. And think it no evil. Huwag kang mag-isip ng masama sa iyong kapatid. Right. Ah, kumanta lang yan kasi nagpapakita ang ilas. O bakit pag hindi, Diyos ka ba? Nakakita sa puso niya. Uh, Di ba? So huwag kang mag-isip ng masama. Huwag kang mag-isip ng masama. Amen? Don't think evil in the local church. It must be demonstrated of that. That will be edifying sa atin. Rejoice it not in iniquity. Kaya pagkakotek sa local church, there will be always a rebuke. There will always be a reminder. Kasi we are not rejoicing in iniquity in this church. Right. Kaya kung may makitaan si pastor, mapupuna talaga niya. Kasi nag-overseeing na siya eh. Makita niya. Oh, brother, may sabihin ako sa'yo. Huwag kang, oh, grabe naman, pinapansin ako palagi. No! The local church is always watch a man. Oh, may iniquity doon. Kailangan linisan natin. Oh, oh bantayan agad. Kasi man. that's the work of that overseer and the flock also and the believers in the church are always there to help the man of God, to help each other not to rejoice in iniquity. Kaya mga young man na mentioned kanina, be not an equally yoked together with unbelievers. And that is not good. Not, that is iniquity. If you will have a mindset of the unbelievers and go together with them at mag-relationship sa kanila na talagang for marriage, sana hindi magpapatid. The priority dito sa local church Kaya nga may mga churches of light faith eh. Kaya kung may gagamitin ang mga chance na ng time, oops, ready na ito. Yung taga sa balis. Kaya, so ang sabi doon, we are not rejoicing in iniquity na sana hindi siya maligaw sa mga, hin- mga unbeliever. A pastor pa naman, preacher pa naman. We are not rejoicing in iniquity. Because as a brother in the local church, we rebuke, we exhort, we instruct and we rejoice we rejoice in the truth bear it all things believe it all things hope it all things endure it all things charity never faileth but whether be prophecy they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether there be knowledge they shall vanish away for we know in part and we prophesy in part but when which is perfect is come what a level of maturity the perfect is come here in the word amen the perfect is come 
na nandito na. Wala na tayong hanap yung iba. This is perfect already and this is the pool of revelation of the mysteries already. Nalatag na. And now, yung mga childish way ng mga Jews religion, childish way of that manner ng mga, ang mindset nila dito sa earth, their God is their belly, ng mga mindset nila, put away that manner. We have that mindset that we are heavenly. We are already seated in heaven. Then put that mindset, hindi tayo taga dito. When I was a child, as fake as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Sa local church, ang mga bawat individual magiging mature. Amen. Hindi yung magiging bata na isang nasabi lang sa isang brother, isang pastor, isang preaching, hindi na magsimba. Ayaw ko na dyan, ako ang pinapatamaan. Bata lang yun. Amen? Don't do the manner because in the local church, there is demonstration of charity so that it will be edifying to each and every one. Don't practice childish way. Amen? Be a man. Yun pitching kayo na yung pastoralan. Be a man. Amen? Be a man. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know even as also I'm known. Verse 13. Let's read all together. Go. And now, abide it, faith, hope, charity, this three, but the greatest of this is charity. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya sa local church pwedeng Sabihin natin na mas greatest pa ang charity. Na virtue sa atin dito sa church natin. Bakit? Bakit? When we heard about the gospel, we have faith in Christ. Then we believe that Christ is sufficient. He died for us, buried and rose again. And that's a virtue. Amen? And we have also practiced that virtue of faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Then we have a blessed hope that is coming. No problem about that. Do you believe Christ is coming? Ngayon, na-save tayo, yun yung picture sa faith. May hope tayo, future, by virtue of hope. Pero wala pa man tayo sa langit. Minsan, punta tayo sa church. Pray tayo, praise tayo, hirin tayo ng prayer, give tayo. Pero, mga matid, hindi manner ng charity. Kaya, it will, it will keep us together to have a one mind, one purpose, one heart because of charity. As we wait for that blessed hope, nasa onward Christian soldier tayo and have that charity bonded together. The boundedness of the Christian in the local church is charity. Kaya talagang the summation of every virtue is charity. Because charity will result faith. Charity will result hope. Charity will result joy. Everything, nandun na lahat. Fountains yan. Para maka-edify sa saints. Para maka-edify sa saints. Meron pang nasabi ng verse dito. Sa the fountain of everything ng virtue is charity da, da. sabi ng Peter, wala na tayong time siya yung pinaka above of that level of maturity, charity mga batid. and praise the Lord in second, uh, first Corinthians uh, chapter uh, chapter 14 or chapter 16 pala mga batid. first Corinthians chapter 16 let all things be done with charity no? let all things be done with charity Kalimutan ko yung verse, pero yun ang thought niya. And uh, dito sa verse 14 pala, tama. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14, Let all your things be done with charity. Para ang mga brethren, mga patid, ay ma-edify. Ma-edify, mga patid. Ma-edify. Yun po ang goal ng local church, to exalt the Savior, to edify the saints, by showing the charitable attitude, char charitable manner, charitable character, mga patid and charitable mindset, mga kapatid. And thank God for that reminder. And uh, the last, but not the least, mga kapatid, is to evangelize the sinner. Amen? Exalt the Savior, edify the saints, and evangelize the sinner. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 18 to 21. Yun yung connection ni Pastor Hubert Lena. 2 Corinthians 5, 18 to 21. Amen. Ulitin ko po. Daw ang Bible, hindi siya ma-exhaust. Kahit siniyan ni Pastor Hubert kanina, balik, ibalik natin ulit. Ibalikin natin na, or basahin natin ulit. Ready, go. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to Himself by Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ. And hath given to us the ministry of what a task given. When a task is once begun, never leave it till it's done. May the labor, great or small, do it well or not at all. 
So when there is a task God has given to the ambassador, do it well. Hindi yung uh, page na lang tayo. Ano, may share ko sa'yo ba? Parang napilitan lang. Alam mo yung gano'n? May mga anak natin. Boy, bigyan mo ng steel trucks. Gano'n. <laughs> Alam mo yung gano'n? Bata ko, bang honor, bang sana hindi gano'n. Nasa heart na natin. Amen? Because it is given to us. Nasa heart na natin na maghahanap tayo. Who and to us if we will not preach the gospel. Kaya sabi ko sa Mrs. Quinsan, may nasira ka ba ng kwan ngayon about Christ? So, wala, nasa bahay ako. Pag kami mga loved ones kasabon, i-chat-chat mo at sabihin mo, kumusta ka na? Pag mamatay ka ngayon, saan ka pupunta? Grabe <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, Grabe naman talong niya! <laughs> agad, agad! Oh, at least, right? Agad! We'll hire his son. Pagkatapos, ano ba yan? Tanong mo! Hindi, gusto ko lang ma-share yung about sa Panginoon. Oo. Oh, dahil kailangan ng Panginoon ako say, kilala ko si Kristo, at share ko sa iyo na kailangan mo si Kristo din. Yun. Yun ang inikaris ko, wife ko, na thank God na kahit pa man na mga patid, let's remind one another that there is a task given. That there is a task given and the Bible says, it is given to to the pastor? No. It is given to to the preacher? No. To the evangelist? No. Hindi lang. It is given to all of us. Amen? Amen. The task is given to all of us in the church. Para lahat, para most of the members ay makilala talaga ni Kristo. And thank God in verse 19, to wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto Himself. What a task given to Christ also. Mahirap din yung task ni Kristo. Ha? Kaya gayahin natin si Kristo. I mean, gayahin. Siya mismo ang ating nakitang motivation. He was tasked by the Father to went to earth and said, Father! It is finished. Tapos na ang Ganon din ang gawa. When Christ is at the cross, there was a declaration that He reconciled the world unto Himself. Not imputing their trespasses. Mahirap. Hirap yun. Kristo na walang makasalanan. He knew no sin. Though He was tempted like as we are in all points, sa mata, sa bibig, sa tainga, sa flesh, lahat ng area, nagutom, walang kasalanan. Bakit kaya nanalo si Kristo? Dahil sa Word of God. Thank God for the reminder. Kaya pa rin niyang pagbuntungan ang kahinaan, ang pagpatay sa pagkarnal. Bakit? There's a Word of God. No? Christ against the devil. Word of God ang katapat mo din. And thank God, noong siya po ay si Kristo, nasa Kanya na ang trespasses. Lahat ng mga trespasses ay nandun sa Kanya. Because of the love of God, He commanded His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, that Son of God ay nagiging kasalanan. All that trespasses natin ay nasa Kanya. And after we heard about the good news that Christ is the, the substitute sa buhay natin and He has that redemption na ginawa, the redemptive work, then there is a commitment para sa atin din and committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Eh, kailangan na rin dalhin natin yung word. Huwag kayong magsawa. The, the, the more that we tell it, it is more sweeter. Kaya sabi, I love to tell the story. Huwag kayong magsawa, mga kapatid. Huwag kayong magsawa. Ako nga, huwag may makapansin sa aking daliri. Hindi pwede akong maglaylo sa katotohanan. Minsan, magjo-joke ako. Kasi para madali. Uy, putol na rin mo. Bakit? Punta kasi ako sa Saudi, tapos nagdaka ako. Yung putol na lang. Pero <laughs> bilis, <laughs> wala lang question ba. May iba. Bakit naputol yan? Eh, kasi kung ano eh, kinagap ko, wala akong ulam. <laughs> Para bilis, pero wa, hindi pwede i-divert, hindi pwede i-lie, hindi pwede siya galing. The moment that I have a consciousness as I was a child, when I could learn to talk, the moment somebody asked me, what happened to your finger? I will tell the same story. My mother wear me a second-hand mitten. When she was taking care of me, she was not aware. Uy, ang tanong, Amerikano ko lang. Tagalogin natin. Akala ko may ganong tanong eh. So, nung hindi siya aware, then nung hindi siya aware, nagtaka na lang siya na pulupot. At doon, sabi ng doktor, Ma'am, kailangan mo ng ganito, ganyan. Hindi na pwede, three days na, namatay ng dugo, at mag-spread ng infection, patay, at pwede ng mga buong kamay, mawala. Matuloy na lang natin, maputol. Okay, tapos na story. Next naman, may nakapansin. Ano yan sa layari mo? Uh, paano kaya to? Di ba bro, kahit nakarinig ka na sa story ko, pwede i-share mo. 
Oh, nagkuha ko ng disciple. So, habang nakikinig ko ng disciple, mali. Kailangan kitang iayos. Ganito yun, ganito, ganito, ganito yun. Oh, pagkatapos noon, pag magtanong, tama na. Ayun, meron na akong messenger. Yeah, meron na akong messenger. Pagka may time talaga nga nandun na, ayun, pwede na i-share. Ang messenger ko, usually, misis ko. Parang dali ni Pastor Puto lagi. Baka pinutol mo. <laughs> No, si Tabi. Sabi ko siya. Mga patid, God gave us the word. Be faithful what you said. Don't less the, lessen the word. Don't yes. add to the word. Kung tanggalan mo ang word na binigay sa'yo, nilagyan ko ng gospel of the kingdom mindset, nilagyan mo ng gospel of the uh, circumcision, nilagyan mo ng gospel of the Everlasting, everlasting gospel. Nilagyan mo na another gospel. Ano pa? You add to the word or you lessen the word. Ang resulta, tingnan mo, first Thessalonia. Last na ito, mga palit. Ay na, nakita ko sa inyo mga mata, nagutom na kayo. Amen. First Thessalonia 1, verse 5. Kaya, thank God, He gave us the word. Amen. God gave us the word of reconciliation. If you add to that, if you, if you lessen the, the gospel, na ating binigay sa atin ang mangyari mga patid it has no power because the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 5 ano sabi? for our gospel came not unto you in word only but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance kung tanggalan mo yan imali mo ang presentation ng word na yan ang word of reconciliation wala ng power hindi makasave ng soul hindi makasave ng soul. Question is, when was the last time you he, you you heard a challenge at na-remind ka na ikaw ay may task? Ang task na yan is to share the word of the gospel. When was the last time over there na may kaluluwa? Nagpasalamat. Thank you. Ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng ganyang mensahe. When was the last time? Over there. Sabi ng Bible, wala tayong madala kahit ano, ano. Ano ang madala natin? Hindi pera, hindi kayamanan, hindi kasikatan, or anything. Kaluluwa. Kaluluwa. Okay. You can bring that soul and fit to the Christ. Amen. Only one life. And sabi na, souls are crying, men are dying. Won't you lead them to the cross? And my house is full, but my field, the laborers are empty outside. Kulang pa, mga patid. Kailangan pa natin more missionary, just like missionary Anton. Pastor, more, more like Pastor Ben, Bansis Roji, Brother Johnny. Kailangan pa natin ng more Brother Johnny. Not, nakita ko na, nakitaan ko na, Lord help this man. Continue to use this man and to do the task that word will be spread. Amen? Yung word natin. Amen? Yung trabaho natin. Exalt the Savior, evangelize the saint, uh, edify the saints, and evangelize the sinners. Let's pray. Father, Thank you. Without your word, hindi ko namin alam yung purpose, yung place ng prayer, yung place ng provision, yung place ng partaking at uh, wala kaming sense of purpose sa buhay namin. Or hindi, hindi namin makita yung mga uh, yung praise, praises. Ang lugar na yan, mga dad, outside of our home is the local church. Thank you, Lord, na isa ko, Lord, na mabiyayahan. Uh, not only I have a family with me, But I have Berean Baptist Church also. I can worship together in a local church, in a, in a place of a locality. Thank you, Lord, na kahit pa man na yung mga minister of that local church ay hindi man nila mapakain lahat ng mga bagay na pwedeng ipakain sa mga believers, members of body of Christ. But there is the gift for the local churches, and that's the evangelists, all the missionary, all the teachers na nagpagamit na, na they, they spread the word of God they spread the truth in online at maraming mabless na mga believers and the result of that is also faithfulness in a local church not faithfulness or support to the person na ginamit doon sa mga, mga nag-broadcast online because the local church where we could practice the charity ay sa locality mga din mga Panginoon salamat na may kapatiran na nag-demonstrate sa Baguio. Salamat Panginoon, ginamit itong redeem. Ako mismo na-bless sa kanilang demonstration. 
sa kanilang manner, I am edified by their charitable manner, character, mindset, their generosity, their uh, goods na na ilang na i-share sa amin. But with charity pa, Panginoon, with uh, all those smile, those labor na kanilang ginawa. Sana, Panginoon, hindi masayang ito. The judgment seat of Christ, sana walang masunog. Kung meron mang Panginoon, ma-review sila as early as now at mapigyan ng tamang mindset. May you bless the next preacher tonight. Give uh, wisdom to the one who will challenge us. Even ako, Panginoon, help me to uh, be ready in receiving all those instruction. Uh, mamaya, help me Lord and thank you in Jesus name we pray Amen